The way we interact with our corporate networks and devices has changed dramatically over the last few years, with office workers bringing their own smartphones, tablets, and laptops to and from the physical spaces where they worked. This shift accelerated dramatically during the COVID pandemic, as any place became the new normal for all organizations. Zero Trust Security has arisen to help keep corporate data safe in this new work-from-anywhere world. Zero Trust solves several problems with today's security scenarios. That's why the president issued orders in January 2022 for all federal agencies to bolster their security, making Zero Trust a central tenet of the initiative. Toward the end of 2022, the U.S. Defense Department officially unveiled its strategy to achieve Zero Trust capabilities by 2027. To help secure themselves and in defense of national resources, Businesses of all sizes should follow the lead of federal agencies. On-premises security, based on protecting the network edge, can no longer cope with modern work practices, with employees using their own devices in the office, at home, and in public places. The opportunities for cyber attacks have grown enormously. In 2021 alone, more than 2,300 public sector organizations suffered ransomware attacks. Businesses and employees are also adopting more applications and services hosted in the public cloud. These are accessed via the public internet alongside traditional on-premises networks, applications, and data. Zero Trust Security reduces risks from these constantly expanding ways of accessing company resources. It also provides employees with a simpler, unified method for entering their credentials across resources, which can increase compliance with security requirements and strengthen protection. Zero Trust's fundamental security principle is to constantly authenticate users to grant access to specific applications and data. No one is trusted, by default, across multiple networks or applications, as occurs in traditional security models. Zero Trust takes a more stringent, granular, dynamic, and continuous approach to trust. As users are constantly authenticated, their devices are also continuously monitored for compromise. Frequent device health checks ensure that only equipment with the latest patches and updates get access. Presence of any unauthorized software on the device prevents access to protected resources. Zero Trust takes context into account, too. An employee using a company device on business premises may be granted greater privileges to a wider range of in-house resources for longer periods of time. On the other hand, a remote worker using a public Wi-Fi network may have their credentials checked more frequently or some access selectively restricted. Access from an unfamiliar location, like a country that the user doesn't normally work from, can trigger higher levels of security. In fact, any suspicious activity can prompt increased scrutiny and re-authentication. Zero Trust Security is not a software product or solution suite. It's an approach to cybersecurity with stages and layers of implementation to help achieve a set of principles. The first stage of Zero Trust Security implementation is to assess your organization's data resources. You'll need to audit the computer equipment and infrastructure your organization operates and what other devices and services employees use for work. The most important data and applications will need to be defined and who requires access to what, where, and when. The next stage is to define policies to mitigate threats to these resources based on the kinds of attacks and breaches that could occur. This involves unifying identity and access management across resources, defining privileges associated with user credentials, and recognizing context. Once these zero-trust policies have been implemented, the system can be optimized. Policies can be extended to every resource your organization operates, and the user experience improved to make credential checking as seamless as possible. Once your organization has started on the Zero Trust security path, it can operate with much greater assurance than ever before. In a dynamic and diverse world with computing right at its center, this is essential and will put your organization in line with national security priorities as well. Visit blackberry.com zero trust to learn more.